Hey guys, it's April from Good Books and Good Wine coming at you with another Stacking the Shelves book haul for June. Um, this week concludes a variety of finished copies and one arc. Um, I thought I would tell you guys a little bit about my day first before I get into all that. So as you can see, my hair is super curly. Unfortunately, while curling my hair, I was like doo 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 doo, -doo and slapped the uh, curling iron against my arm. So now I have this ugly like bubble on my arm from uh, the burn which really sucks. And I also went to a graduation party today, which was all right. I mean, there's free beer, lots of amazing food, but the DJ they had there kept singing <laughs> during the songs, and she's not the actual singer of the songs, and then she kept talking over the songs. It was really, really annoying. Like, honestly, if you are going out and representing yourself at an event, where there could be potential new customers or clients, even if that event is for family, maybe you should make the event about the person that it's for instead of yourself. Terrible DJ lady. Maybe you should. Anyways, enough ranting from me. I know you all really don't care about that stuff. You're here to hear about the books, and so let's get started. First up, even though this came in my mail today, is Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo. I pre-ordered this. I wonder if Amazon Prime still does their free two-day shipping, because I pre-ordered this on like the 15th thinking it would get here in two days, and it actually took like five days. Like, what the hell? I pay extra money for Amazon Prime now, and it's not shipping me my stuff in two days? What even? I mean, maybe I'm like an entitled customer or whatever, but like... I pay $79 a year, soon to be $99, for them to specifically send me things within a, that two-day window. That's the appeal of Prime to me. That and HBO, but beyond that, like, I have Spotify. I don't need their streaming music library thing. So, I will just say that I am super excited for Ruin and Rising by Lee Bardugo. Um, I plan to hopefully get to this before the end of June. I have four books left on my June TBR that I made myself with an Instagram picture, but otherwise, we'll see. So, I'm going to try and get to this ASAP. Surprising me on Thursday was this box from Simon & Schuster Children's Publishing. And on the side of the box it says, Danger is hard to resist, with a picture of some guy. So then I had to chop the guy open to get the box open. And inside the box is all this confetti. And this is not the actual book that was in the box. The actual physical book I mailed out to a blogger friend, but uh, Becca Fitzpatrick's Black Ice was in the box, as well as this card that says, Danger is hard to resist. And then it says, Hashtag Black Ice Friday, countdown to blackice.com, which is really cool. And then it has this letter from Becca Fitzpatrick, and I'm kind of curious about that. It also came with one of those medley water bottles, but um, I took that water bottle to work and I filled it up with water and I put it in our work refrigerator and I was like, this is going to be such a nice, cool drink while I'm sitting here all hot and bothered. Um, no, I ended up drinking some coffee from our work coffee pot and forgetting all about my water bottle and it is still sitting inside my work refrigerator. So, sorry you guys don't have a, you know, medley water bottle or to look at. So if you could just picture a little metal water bottle with the words Becca Fitzpatrick's Black Ice on the side. That's what came in my mail, and that's awesome. Love when publishers send swag that's actually useful. Like, I don't know what I would do with a postcard or a sticker or... I don't even know, a bookmark? Well, with a bookmark I would mark my books. But, if you want views and more, you know, eyeballs for your money, useful swag. So, water bottles. I know I'm going to take that water bottle to the gym because you need water when you work out. And I know, also, I wear, like, the free t-shirts that sometimes they do for promotions and 
uh, whatever of books. Like, I have a Mortal Instruments t-shirt that I got for free at a BEA. I wear that to the gym all the time. And I also wear this Mortal Instruments hoodie that I obtained this year at BEA all the freaking time. So, you know, whenever I'm wearing that out in public, there's eyeballs on it. More so than when I'm using a bookmark in my house, all alone, sometimes with Tony. Unexpectedly from Macmillan Kids was a copy of Broken Hearts, Fences, and Other Things to Mend by Katie Finn, aka Morgan Matson. And I'm not going to lie you guys, like I was kicking myself for the longest time because I never requested a copy of this and lo and behold it magically shows up in my mailbox. So I'm really excited to read this because hello Morgan Matson, but we'll see. We shall see. And it looks like it's going to be a fun summer drama type of book where you like read it when you're sipping Mai Tais by the pool. Um, if you have a pool. I don't have a pool but I want one. Actually that's one of the things I'm kind of looking for when I buy a house is a pool. That's really dumb but listen if you're gonna in my area houses range from 50,000 for the really crappy houses to like a hundred thousand for the nice ones because I live in a very not wealthy area. So seriously, like if I'm going to spend $70,000 on a house, it would be nice if that house came with a pool because then I wouldn't have to spend an additional $30,000 building a pool. Or I could spend $100,000 on a house that has a pool. Okay, so Better When He's Bad by Jay Crownover. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm so excited about this. And I'm also like thinking in my head, ha 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 ha, because I requested this on Edelweiss and they rejected me. So, ha ha, person that rejected me. This came in my mail for review. Ha ha. I bet you feel bad about rejecting me now. Actually, I bet you are not even watching this. Whatever. I am pumped for this book. I love her Marked Men series. This is the first of her new series called The Point. And I don't know, it sounds like it's going to be steamy and dramatic and awesome. The Life and Times of Benny Alvarez, a novel by Peter Johnson. Looking at the inside flap, it sounds like Benny Alvarez is a negative Nancy or a Debbie Downer. So this book is all about how he learns to be positive and say yes to things. And I think I would read that. It's pretty slim and it's published by HarperCollins. I really like the cover and I'm really into middle grade. So yeah, let's give this bad boy a shot and learn how to not be negative. Oh, and the jacket flap calls it poignant. So yeah, that means it should be good because they don't whip out the word poignant for just any book. And finally, this is like my third copy. I have an ebook copy and an ARC, and now I have a finished copy of Thorn Jack by Katherine Harbour. This is a really beautiful book, like looking at it, it's very cool. Like the cover feels soft, not that you guys wanna see me petting a cover, and the back print is huge for old people like me, and in person it's really pretty. It's actually really wide too, like compared to other hardcovers. Here, I'll grab another one. Okay, so look at that. Like this, this book can totally eat this one up. I'm really excited for Thorn Jack by Catherine Harbour because it's a retelling of Tam Lin and there are comparisons to Neil Gaiman and Cassie Clare and The Night Circus, which is awesome. You know, two out of three can't be, can't be wrong. So that's it for me this week for my physical books in the mail for review, all of that, and purchase. What up, books? So, what is in your mail, and what are you reading this weekend? Like, I'm reading Take Me On by Katie McGarry, and I was really nervous to start it because I was so disappointed by Crash Into Me because Rachel is totally a wet blanket. Whatever. She's a wet blanket, you guys. It's just so boring. Um, but Take Me On is so good. So, let this be a lesson to you. If you read an author's book, like, they're third book and you're like, God, what happened? 
read their next book. It might surprise you and be really good. Alright, that is it from me. I hope you all have the most amazing reading week ever.